earthwork calculation using section method. Hello, welcome to a video session about preparing earthwork calculation using the earthwork module of eSurvey CAD. Calculating earthwork quantities for site surveys, which is also referred as grading works, can be achieved using this module. Earthwork quantity for roads and canals can be estimated with section module. Earthwork calculation can be computed either using CSV or Excel file or CAD data. In this video, we will compute earthwork quantity by using an Excel file. Computing quantities from CAD file is also similar that is explained in the next video. In this sample project, there are two sets of data. Elevations, which represent ground data, are in a file called OGL.XLS and formation levels are in a file called FRL.XLS. Earthwork calculation can be done in eSurvey CAD software interface. You create a new file in eSurvey CAD by selecting Topo, Contour, Earthwork, Option with name, Demo Earthwork. You can import ground data by selecting Import Data under the Surface menu by locating ground levels from OGL.XLS. We have to specify the boundary for doing earthwork calculation. In this sample, there are no boundary data available as an Excel file. Note that it is always a good practice to provide the boundary definition. However, when boundary is not imported in the software, the software will automatically define the boundary depending on the factor called scanning radius. Provide appropriate value and click on the view button. We can see imported ground levels and boundary. Earthwork calculations are done by converting input data into grid levels. So first we need to specify the grid interval by selecting the grid tab. When a new file is created as a default, grid interval will be 10 meters. You can set it to 5 meters for calculating earthwork in this sample. In display tab, you can control which levels we want to see in the drawing. Select grid elevation of ground and formation levels. For computing earthwork, Two sets of data are required, base surface levels and the comparative levels. We have imported ground levels as initial levels. If we look at base surface statistics, we will come to know that in this surface model, minimum level is 17.10 and maximum is 25.959. We can give single level as the formation level, that is, a plane with the given formation level is created as the formation surface. In computation tab, we will specify 25 as formation level. Now, if you click on volume button, the software will compute cutting and filling quantities and show the result instantly. If you want to find out volume at 25.3, change formation level and click on the volume button to get the revised result. The volume calculation result is a summary of the computation. To understand the detailed calculations, let us click on view CS button. In calculation and drawing window, you can have a look at each cross section that is derived from the grid. Note that the software has calculated area for each of the cross sections. If you select the volume tab, you can note that volume calculation is computed considering the area values derived from area calculation of each cross section. By clicking on report button, we can generate the volume report in Excel. We have seen how to compute earthwork with a specific formation level. With specific formation level, normally earthwork is calculated for estimation only. During billing or for partial billing purpose, calculations have to be done with another surface. Now, you import the formation level data in the similar way as you imported the OGL earlier by selecting import formation from earthwork menu. After importing the data, if we click on the view button, you can note that for every grid point, two levels are displayed. One among those is depending on OGL and the other depending on formation level. Now, click on the volume button to see the calculated cutting and filling volume. To see calculation details, click on view CS button and you can look at various sections created at each chain age with ground and formation surface data. Earthwork module also offers more features. You can change the angle of the grid, define the origin of the grid. The software will create cross sections considering the y-axis values as section number. It can be changed by selecting intersections on y-axis. 
Thank you for watching this video. In the following videos, you will learn how to import data from CAD, how to do an earthwork calculation with box method, etc.